Hey, I'm Kez Bracey, this is Tuts Plus. Welcome to Figma project, page, and artboard tips. You can actually create custom project thumbnails that'll show up in your dashboard, in your drafts area. All you need to do to make that happen is ensure that the first page of your document has just the one frame. Make that frame 620 pixels wide by 320 pixels high, and then just fill that in with whatever you want to have appear as your project thumbnail. You can navigate between pages with a keyboard shortcut. On Mac, it's going to be function with an up or down arrow. And on Windows or Linux, it's going to be page down or page up. You can navigate between artboards with a keyboard shortcut. On Mac, that's going to be function and the left or right arrow. And on Windows and Linux, it's going to be home and end. So the end button to go through your artboards to the right and the home button to go through them to the left. By default, when you're going through your artboards using keyboard shortcuts, they're gonna stay at the same zoom level. However, you can actually zoom in on them as you go by using different shortcut keys. You can use N to go between your artboards to the right while zooming in, or to go to the left while zooming in, hold Shift N. When you have artboards that have the same color background as your overall document, it can be a little bit hard to keep track of where the edges of those frames are. And in this context, we're using the word artboard to refer to top level frames. So what you can do to make it easier to keep track of the edges of your artboard is go up to the view menu and turn on frame outlines. So those are some quick tips on working with Figma projects, pages, and artboards. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.